Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you happen to be watching this. Welcome along to another match day experience on the channel. Tonight, I'm off to Norwich CBS for their home match against Swatham in the Furlough Nun First Division. As you can see from the league table, third versus fifth. It is going to be a belter of a game of the Football Development Centre. You guys who are fairly new to the channel will not have seen my previous match day experience probably but i've already been to norwich cbs before and absolutely loved my time at the club and i've been dying to go back and i thought why not do it because i've got the wednesday off let's just go there on the tuesday night and get it done i'm joining up with adam who again some of you who are new to the channel won't know who adam is but adam used to come to a lot of my match day experiences but has been so tied down with work but he's now finally back for a match day experience and i'm excited to be joining up with him because he's never been here before so it's going to be a first time experience for him but it is currently quarter to eight in the morning so i've got to go get myself ready for work i'm nearly ready to go but then once i've got work done it's in a case of a train from stone market to norwich and then a bus from norwich station over to norwich football development center i'm ready and raring to go for this i'm so excited it's the final game of the four match mini series let's do this This place never ceases to amaze me. Absolutely incredible. Adam, welcome along to the video. Hello. First of all, how are you? Yeah, very good. Um, <laughs> I've kind of been all of this is incredible. What, what, do you, what do you make of it? I, I didn't really under, know what to expect. And I come here and it's amazing. Like yeah. the facilities here are exactly what football needs. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. We've, um, we've just kind of arrived and I've just shown Adam around a little bit, but um, they've got the whole kind of centre at the, at the front entrance where they've got all the sort of five-a-side pitches ahead of it so they've got their own sort of like cafe bit changing room facilities it looks absolutely incredible and then you've then got the main feature which is then this pitch here it's like a which... goal center on steroids <laughs> <laughs> it really is yeah. it's incredible yeah it is it's just it's like i said the first time i came to this place absolutely fell in love with it absolutely fell in love with it and even the club it, everyone just treated me so amazingly but coming back here you really do appreciate it for a second time around how good it is and yeah, you know it's, it's incredible but we're now going to go and try and find something to eat because we're both absolutely starving we've got about an hour before kickoff loads of time just going to go and meet a few people speak to a few people can't wait speak to you in a bit Burger review time for Ian. Adam? This is, this is a good burger. Yep. Slightly salty, good meat. Marks out of 10? It's a seven. Seven. Nice and cheesy as well. Great cheese piece. Nice. Nice.
Lucky Jack out. So there it is, half time. 1 0 Swaffham. Thoughts? Yeah, um, even game to start with. Yeah, as it's got towards the end of the first half, I feel like Swaffham are absolutely plaguing Norwich at the moment. They've yeah. got control in midfield. Yeah. Um, sort of just swarming over them every single yeah. time that Norwich try and get the ball down, calm it, pass it around the back and try and build something because it is very much. They're not going to pass it directly unless they're piling it to their big man. That's it. Yeah. But they are passing it one by one around the whole team. But every time they're doing that, Swaffham are just straight on them. I think mean, what's helping Norwich at the minute and getting them out of jail really is that their defence is very organised. Um, yeah. They're playing really, really well across the back. Yeah. Um, but both keepers are struggling. Yeah. Uh, I don't know yeah. why. I don't know if it's a pitch problem or what. But both of them are struggling kicking and don't look confident gripping the yeah. ball. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's, it's an odd one. Yeah. But as I said, thoroughly impressed by Swaffham. They've been, um, you know, you can see why they're at the top of this table. Yeah. They are very good. Their front three is incredibly dangerous. Yeah, um, um, I've been impressed with all three of them. They yeah. just look like they can find gaps all the way. Yeah, while. definitely, definitely. But I'll tell you what, more of that in the second half. Absolutely, you know, absolutely love it. I'm, I'm interested to see how Norwich are going to respond because they need to do something different. Because they're getting up to a certain point and then it's just that final kind of. Yeah, ball that's not really. They need to get more support around the big it, guy, it, don't they? It's not on camera, but they were definitely getting frustrated with each other. Twenty minutes, twenty-five minutes gone in the game. Yeah, but then they calmed themselves down and actually yeah. got together as a unit again. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how they turn that around um, and come out second half fighting to, to really put the pressure on the opposition goal. Definitely, definitely. Second half coming up. only have five minutes on this clock and already CBS has started this half a lot better. That is far, far better than anything they've done in that entire first half. Keep it up. Curse of the commentary. <laughs> yeah, um, that was soft it, as well. Yeah, I really. I, I can't believe he was allowed to turn from and a throw. Have that much space where he yeah. did. Uh, get a shot away, and then it seems yeah. to trickle. It took ages to yeah, go in. Yeah, but no, not taking any thing away from the finish because that was a that's yeah, very, was placement lucky. was very well done. But two 0 yeah. game over. I don't think it's game over. Yet. I think no. there might be something else in it because CBS have come out well, but it depends yeah. how well they rally now. Yeah, yeah. So. That's really early in the second half, yeah, though, isn't it? Is. it? That is the thing. But, them seem well revved up, though. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do seem revved up. But, as you said, it's about how they bounce back now, so game on. Definitely. <laughs> finally, finally. Uh, deserved that from the second yeah, half. Yeah, they did. You know, They've come out well. Yeah, 
I mean, the heads dropped about five minutes or so after that goal went in, but they have deserved that in that second half, haven't they? We've got, what, about 20 minutes left? Yeah. yeah. 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes to, left. 2-1. Uh, 2-1, come, come on. Full time, speak in a sec. <laughs> so there you have it, 2-1 to Swaffham in the end. Absolutely superb game of football and we managed to get ourselves an interview for the match day experience. So the link for that will be in the description below. We just about managed to get our train back. Adam, your thoughts <laughs> um, on that match? Yeah, now I've calmed down a bit. Um, loads of adrenaline at the end. It really, really heated up. Got absolutely insane towards the end. Last 20 yeah. minutes or so. Yeah. Absolutely loved it. Um, I enjoyed the whole game, but the way that finished just had me absolutely buzzing. It was brilliant. Yeah. We um we had obviously the the game itself when Swaffen went to two went to two nil. There was a bit of a five minute lull, but they managed to pick themselves up, got the goal, and that made for an absolutely superb final 10 minutes of the game, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it probably, in terms of the way the game went, um, I wasn't expecting the game to turn in that No, way. Um, no, it really wasn't, like, yeah. Like I said, I, I thought we had the question of whether we thought the game was over at 2-0, mm. and it proved to be anything but that. Yeah. Um, and yeah. the energy and everything that suddenly got created by both teams yeah. uh, in the final sort of 10 minutes or so it was insane it was yeah. absolutely incredible there's going to be a lot of highlights yeah definitely I'm going to have fun editing that but yeah that, that's just a credit to CBS and how, the way they kept going in that definitely. match um, and you can tell against maybe some teams who aren't going to have the same amount of aggression and pressing game yep. that they could quite ease they, you, you can see why they're at the top yeah, definitely. of this division definitely, definitely. strong team yeah definitely and um, you know we spoke to somebody from the club after the game but he, he, even he said that you can't just play for that for the final 20 minutes of the game and expect to get something out of it it was a lot of fight and endeavour but ultimately you've got to be starting like that from the get go haven't you yeah and I think if you look at it retrospectively I think uh, Norwich will learn from it and I'd like to come back and see them again oh yeah um, definitely because I'd like to see them put in that level of effort for a whole sort yeah. of 90 and I think that they'll show that they'll know between themselves that they can do that yeah that, you know they've, they've got the talent in there to do it and I think they could win against anyone on their day playing like that for 90 minutes because people definitely. won't be able to cope with them yeah definitely well thanks mate for coming along well, thank you it's been thoroughly enjoyable having you back on the match day experience again Loved really it. do appreciate it make sure you guys hit the like button um, leave a comment as well make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are the first to be informed of when a video comes out your recent support honestly has been absolutely superb and i really really do appreciate it the likes and comments that you guys leave really really do help the channel go a long way so thank you very much for that but until we see each other next time though as always on the channel adios